First of all, make sure to install the add-on in Preferences, Add-ons, Install from Disk, just install the zip file that you downloaded. Now press N to open the side panel. Here in Water Shader, click on Add Water Cube, and this will add a cube with the water material, also a terrain. Now, the first step is to change to Cycles. This shader only works with Cycles. So I'm gonna use the UPU and lower the samples for the viewport. I'm gonna enable the noise. Now for lighting, here in World Properties, we can use a sky texture, but you can also use an HDRI if you like. Now we can preview the render. You can play with the lighting here in the sky texture by rotating the sun. Now select the water in material properties. You can customize the water to your needs. Now let's see the terrain generator. Scale it up with S. Now to customize the terrain, open the geometry node editor. And you'll find the properties here in the node group. Or just press N and click on Node. We can generate infinite terrains with Seed. And of course, there are more settings that you can adjust to create your terrain. We can also customize the material here in Material Properties. Now, the water shader includes Dynamic Foam to enable it. Select the mesh you want to interact with the foam. Now press M and send it to the foam collection. Now select the water, go to modifiers and increase this value to 1.5 for example. And now we can see the foam, which we can also customize in material properties. And we can do the same with any object. Just send it to the foam collection. Now there are some displacement maps included in the add-on. Just click on it. Select the terrain you want and click on append. We can adjust the material and we can also change the subdivision levels in modifiers. And there are more assets included in the add-on. Just click on assets or rocks so you can use them in your scenes. Finally, let's see the caustic light. Just click on it. This will import a light that will project animated caustics. This will work only for cycles, so let's see the animation. Just hit play. Now let's go to the shader editor. And then click here to open the group. This is the image sequence. We can make some changes here in data. We can change the spot size and blend it. We can play with value or strength. And we can also change the scale to repeat the texture. 
Now I'm gonna import some assets to create a scene. Just place the models what I want. And I can play with the sun rotation in the sky texture. Now we can replace the sky without affecting the light. Let's go to the shader editor. Change to world. Then we need to duplicate the background. Now use a mix shader to mix them. Select the background and press Ctrl T. And here I'm going to select an HDRI. Now add a light path and connect its camera array to factor. Now connect the second background to the mix shader. Now with mapping we can rotate the image. But of course we don't have the reflection of the HDRI, but I can try to match the color of the sky. Honestly, I didn't know that we can mix an HDRI and the sky texture, and this is very useful because we don't have to use Photoshop to add the sky or an image plane. I learned this from this video, from Cobin's Word. The link is in the description. Okay, so now we can add an atmosphere. Of course, we can use the volumetric cube, but sometimes I like to use the glare node. Just go to the compositor. And add a glare node. Change to bloom. Now in viewport shading, select always. And now we can adjust the glare node. Finally, we can go to render properties, color management, and here select medium high contrast. And that's it. Thank you. See you next time.